a chef tends to rice in Camp Bastion's biggest kitchen. There'll be seven choices on tonight's menu and a lot of mouths to feed. There are three kitchens at Camp Bastion and this one is responsible for feeding 4,000 troops every day. Here in the butchery, they're already making preparations for tomorrow's meals and that includes more than a thousand portions of roast chicken for dinner. And poultry's a popular choice. In a typical week, this kitchen gets through more than 70,000 chicken breasts, as well as a thousand kilos of beef topside and 125,000 eggs. Preparing such massive quantities of food means the cooking never stops. This kitchen works 24 hours a day. Uh, you know, there's always a shift on the go. Uh, it never closes. But as the number of British troops based in Afghanistan has shrunk, so has this feeding operation. At its peak, this place needed 100 ISO containers to store food. Now they're down to 60. Over the coming months, civilian chefs will go and military personnel will take over the cooking. Troops will see a difference to what they're eating. We'll go from less and less fresh rations down to operational ration packs and eventually by the time the closure comes it should be on 24 hour ORP operational ration packs. For now the forward feeding team is staying tight-lipped on when those changes will happen but WO2 Smith will admit there's something he's looking forward to once he leaves Afghanistan. I have like a good steak and kidney pie and my wife knows just exactly how I like it. Well you can't beat a home-cooked meal. Cassandra Allwood, Forces News, Camp Bastion.